Hello, everyone. I am Shane1288 from RSBNB Update, and I'm here with this week's micro update covering the Zodiac training event. Uh, but before that, uh, just a reminder that this past weekend we released our podcast on invention. Uh, you can find that at update.rsbnb.com. We went in the best way of training it, uh, as well as some of the broken mechanics that were patched earlier in the week, and we also discovered the rationale, or at least what we think is the rationale, behind the updated experience curve. So be sure to give that a listen if you're just getting started with Invention. Alright, so for this week's update, we have the Zodiac training event. This starts on February 4th and runs through February 9th, so we do not have any details on exactly how this plays out in-game, but you can see here some of the uh, flashy rewards that you can get from it, and we will of course have full coverage of this on this weekend's RSBNB update episode. You see there's a nice little dragon cosmetic emote that uh, you can receive from this event, so that should be fun to get. Um, but the main update this week brought to the players was the Invention Cosmetics, including the Lab Coat, Light Bulb Hat, Professor Title, Portable uh, Spellbook and Prayer Book Switcher, which is a part of the Dwarven Tech Tree, the Invention Skill Cape, and the Retro Invention Skill Cape as well. And of course, uh, Jagex assumes players want a hint, so they say, oh, go on then, the Lab Coat might, reg might need a fine cloth or two to put together. Most professors are pretty old, right? Around 95, I suppose. That's all you're getting for now. Get cracking. So obviously that means that if you want a lab coat, you'll need uh, level 95 invention and pieces of uh, materials from fine cloth and probably some actual fine cloth to put it together as well. So it should be interesting to see what this actually turns out to uh, require once the uh, recipe has uh, been revealed to the public by way of uh, various community mechanics. That's pretty much all we have for this week aside from patch notes. Let's just jump into those right now. Uh, there's a number of them that I thought uh, might be interesting to share. Uh, first up, the guards near uh, the Varrock Lodestone have finally put away their Christmas decorations on February 1st. So as you can see, uh, if you uh, headed south of Varrock, you could uh, relish in Christmas through January. It, it was nice, but uh, that's been put away for another uh, few months until next uh, December. Also, the item siphon, or rather the equipment siphon, has had its uh, cost reduced to 50 simple parts, 5 dexterous components, and 5 precious components. This will definitely aid players in uh, training invention by way of siphoning experience off of leveled weapons, Previously, before this update, siphons were going for around $3 million on the exchange, and obviously uh, that price was too high because uh, the initial component cost was too much. So this has been brought in line to say that, yes, this is something that you definitely want to look at when you are training invention. Next up on the patch notes, uh, we have a list of items that can no longer be disassembled, and that includes imp boxes, fishing bait, the Kresbot, fish in bowls, and the corpse of the woman from a quest way back in 02, I believe. So, yeah, a long time ago. And finally, uh, farming got a bit of an update this week. Two leprechauns will now offer to super compost or compost your uh, patches for you. But, of course, there is a catch. You need to pay 500 GP for regular compost and 1,500 GP for super compost. So if you're interested in doing that, uh, all you need to have is the super compost or compost stored in your tool leprechaun and then offer to pay and you will be able to skip that part of farming. Also, fruit trees have been graphically updated, so this means palms, papayas, uh, pineapples, the works are all uh, looking much nicer. And, you know, I, I was expecting an update to this at some point because uh, we had the normal trees updated numerous times since farming was released, but these uh, assets relating to farming itself, uh, specifically the fruit trees, have not been updated since farming's release. And, of course, uh, later on this year we're seeing the release of the NXT client, which means that, well, if something has a higher detailed model, it will look much better. So, obviously, uh, the it must be assumed that the farming uh, fruit trees were not up to snuff. That's all we got this week in the patch notes. Uh, we'll be back this Saturday for a full episode of RSBMB Update discussing these patch notes, our current progress with invention, and any other topics that you bring to us. You can do that by sending them to questions at rsbmb.com or leave us 
leaving us a voicemail at 571-57-BNB, which is 571-572-2632.